just finished construction of our uh, mushroom chamber. Excuse the mess, because like I said, I just finished cutting everything up and putting it all together. And humidification system is in now, as well as the air exchange, and I go over it all. Use foil-faced foam board to make the chamber. There is the monitor for the humidity. Um, there's a humidity probe and temperature probe on the inside to measure the humidity that's temperature adjusted. The fans you just heard kick off. There's a filter box here that has a, I think it's a 140 CFM fan that pulls fresh air in from outside. There's actually a storm door on the other side of this. It's got a pretty good air gap, so I'm pulling the air from there, um, mostly because I know it's a lot of fresh air in that part. Still somewhat in the ground, so there's a bit of warmth still from the ground. And this other side is pulling air just from inside the house. I still have yet to put the tube on it. To, uh, I don't, it doesn't really need it, but I guess I'll put one in there. Um, there's the air filter on the inside of the filter box. It's, I built the filter box just out of some uh, leftover foil foam board that I foil faced foam board that I had and uh, leftover scrap lumber. So. But the filter goes right in there. It's uh, hanging on the beam to the floor joist there. The exhaust is right there. That should push the spore-laden air outside into that same area. There's a good oh four or five foot gap between the two. So I don't think I'll be pulling much of the same air in. So we'll see if it's a problem. If it is, I'll just run the the uh, intake all the way outside. Take it inside the chamber now. I'm gonna replace this window right here with a clear uh, plexiglass deal right now. I just have some plastic, construction plastic over it. And this is the grill room. So, the water pipes come in right there. I have four four-way misters that are controlled by that humidity probe and temperature probe right there. So it measures the humidity inside the chamber. Put some uh, uh, air filter material from a window air conditioning unit over it to try to protect it from spores. But once the, if the humidity falls below 75, it kicks on a water solenoid valve on the outside which opens up this pipe and feeds these four-way misters. There are two on that side and two on this side. The light fixture in here is a waterproof or vapor-proof uh, light fixture. It's about $90, I think, at Home Depot. But that way I could have it on the inside of the grow chamber. Hoping that one light will be enough, we'll see. I have hooks hanging from the ceiling here. Show you to hang all my bags when they're ready. The fresh air is being pulled in right through here. I don't have a uh, uh, air duct coming all the way through the room. I don't think I'll need one to distribute the air. If I do, I'll put one in, but for now, that's all I'm gonna do. Um, the exhaust is right there. I made a little filter cover for it out of that same window unit air conditioning like filter fabric. That way I can just clean it, hose it out, or replace it if I need to. It's really cheap. And that hopefully will protect the fan and motor from getting bogged down from all the spore load inside of the chamber. Just slides right over. Also keeps my little girl's hands out of the fan. I do have an ultrasonic in here that I'm going to leave running probably all the time. Um, I still have to clean the floor up. There's some rubber duckies from one of my little and uh, there's a floor drain in here with a pond liner on the bottom. The entire room is raised up on wooden pallets. I'll show you the solenoid water valve here. The, right. Yeah, so the pipe runs all the way through here. The solenoid water valve is right there. It's all glued together, runs all the way across the ceiling here. 
down that wall over there into that utility sink in the corner over there. I just split the water feed off of it to uh, also feed the feed the grow room. Trying to think if there's anything else. I think that about covers everything. We'll see how it works out. It's gonna take a while to dial it in to make sure I'm pulling enough fresh air. The timer's on a, a modified timer to where it's on a cycle timer now. It's running Oh, four exchanges, probably at, I don't know, maybe a minute and a half each every hour. We'll see, though. I might have to change it. I haven't done any of the calculations on it or anything yet. I just just finished setting it up, so that'll come later. But I believe that's everything in the grow room. I don't think I'm missing anything. Stay tuned, and I'll hopefully have some mushrooms in here in a couple.